is what? Oh yeah, out of focus. Be all right. Hello, it is. 8.58 p.m. on a Sunday evening and I am starting this vlog because starting from tomorrow for a whole week I'm undecided if a week is going to be like Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday. I will assess my energy levels later in the week but I'm going to be waking up at 5 a.m. for the whole week. I've always kind of been an early getter upper but not a five o'clock person by any means. This is going to be interesting to see how this goes and I require eight hours sleep so I need to go to bed like right now. <laughs> Daylight savings ended last night and so we have a little bit more light in the mornings for a very short period of time so I'm trying to make the most of that. It's going to be like a bit of a trial run because also there is something very exciting, very big change happening in my life when this video comes out that'll be like a month away and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to join the 5am club just to keep up with my own life uh, when that happens. For the next five to seven days we will be waking up at five o'clock together. I honestly feel a little bit tired just thinking about it but it's gonna be great. In the moment it's gonna be fantastic. It has just gone 9pm so it is time for me to go to bed but I will see you guys in eight hours. <laughs> Good night. Rise and shine it's five o'clock. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling good but it's only Monday so I'm a little bit procrastinating on getting out of bed right now though because I'm doing a 16 kilometer run this morning. Oh my gosh. It is the same day. So it is still Monday, but it is now the other end of the day. It is 8.25 p.m. And I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. I felt really good after my run for like an hour. And then from like 10.30 onwards, I was just an absolute slump. The day started great. The 5 a.m. wake up was fantastic. I need to go to bed. I will see you guys at 5 a.m. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> good morning. Oh, look, there's my second alarm going off. You didn't hear my first one because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So it's a cracking start to my Tuesday. <laughs> guys, my bed is so warm and cozy. Why did I sit? This morning we're not running. Absolutely not. This morning we're just doing a shrink session, which is going to be really nice. But first up, we are getting out of bed. We're making the bed. We're putting on a hoodie and then we're going to do a demo time. Making this little book note has got to be up there with one of the big decisions that I made in 2024. I'm just going to park myself here, put my hood on because it's cold, do my devo and my Bible reading and eat my banana for some energy. See, the thing is, once I'm like out of bed, I feel like it's fine. Like once I'm out of bed, I'm awake. It's just getting out of bed is like the hardest part. It is like quarter past nine, so I need to go to bed because uh, I will not be getting eight hours sleep tonight. We commit to the challenge and that's my own fault. Energy levels have been fantastic today. I'm pretty sure it was just the run yesterday that literally like sucked all my energy. But anyway, Tuesday, feeling great. I'll see you guys at five o'clock in the morning. And we are running tomorrow, but not 16 kilometers. Good morning. Oh my goodness, hey, at least I'm remembered to press the record button probably this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I could 100% have just carried on sleeping this morning, but I need to actually get up, otherwise I will fall back asleep. I had a dream last night that I was running. Mm. Oh, seems. And it's go in the morning to win the day. It is like 20 past six, so I've just been like getting changed and reading my bible and doing some journaling for the past like hour and a bit but I just opened my curtains and you can probably tell by the colour of my face and I know the camera is not going to do this justice and my windows are very dirty but look oh the camera is so not doing this justice it is so stunning I want to go stretch and get outside and go for a run and enjoy that because it is beautiful <laughs> hey guys it is the other end of the day it is 20 to 9 and I'm about to go to bed a little bit tired, not gonna lie, and I think the whole like daylight savings thing, it feels so much later than it actually is. I was out babysitting my cousins tonight and driving home, I was like, it's like 10 p.m. It was 7.30. I have to be at work at 6.30 tomorrow morning, so waking up at 5 a.m. is actually, like I probably would have been waking up at 5 a.m. anyway. Yay. Anyway, see you guys at 5 a.m. when we get to do this all over again. Racha. 5 a.m. It's to the light on. Woohoo! Not gonna lie, I woke up to the wind actually in the night and I thought it was like, you know when you wake up and you're like, it must be time to get up like really soon. Rolled over, looked at the time, it was only 11.30pm and I was like, yes. It's Thursday, time to go and make today a good day. Me and my banana. I actually had someone ask like last week 
about how I stay motivated to get up early, work out and stuff. I do have some like non-negotiables when I go to bed the night before just to make my life a little bit easier when I wake up early in the morning. One of those being I have a banana on my bedside table ready to eat. I never used to be like a food in the morning person. Like the idea of breakfast, repulsive to me, like could not eat in the mornings, but I would, I would eat in the mornings because you know, breakfast is the most important meal, but I wouldn't enjoy it. Especially now that I'm running, I find like I need, I need to fuel my body. And like this morning I'm not exercising, but my body's so used to having food like first thing in the morning. I, I've got my banana anyway. <laughs> the other thing is, today is not a good example because I haven't actually done it today, but setting out my workout clothes the night before. So then when I wake up, it's just one less thing to think about. It is Thursday night, which means that tomorrow's Friday. It may be my last 5am get up of the week. I'm undecided about what's going to happen on Saturday. I know I'm probably going to have to get up at 5am on Sunday. Saturday though, that is to be confirmed. To comment on my energy levels for today as well, honestly, was pretty consistent the whole day, but I didn't do any exercise today. So there's nothing that was like really draining my energy. 5 a.m. Not gonna lie, that 5 a.m. was the rudest awakening out of all of them this week. It's also like the middle of April. Currently there's like a storm over New Zealand. You can't see it, but I have my fan on right now. Like it is hot, it's 18 degrees. So humid. We did it five days. Friday is fresh sheet Friday. And so every Friday I change the sheets in my bed. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna strip my sheets. I'm gonna make my bed. I'm gonna march downstairs and put my sheets in the washing machine and get them washed before 7 a.m. so that I can use our off-peak power, right? And then I'm gonna come back upstairs and I'm gonna read my Bible. And then I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna hop on the treadmill and I'm gonna do my run. Mm. Guys, I wish I was kidding when I say this, but I just went and put my sheets in the washing machine, made my bed and everything, came back up to my room, and I was about to hop back into bed. It is night time, just the wrong end of the night. I got my banana. Oh, the lights are are we about to have a power cut? I found on standby to be a torch, because that's not good. Hello, I literally just got home from having dinner with my friends, so much so that I have my shoes in my hand. Anyway, it is 20 to 10, and I am very stoked to inform you that I will in fact not be waking up at 5am tomorrow, because it is a Saturday and I will be having a sleep in. So, I guess that concludes this video, but thank you guys for joining me on a week of 5am wake ups. I don't know what the point of this video was, to be honest. <laughs> but if I have inspired you to wake up at 5am to win the morning and win the day, then I guess my job here is done. So, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>